Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I fill in my brows. So if you guys are interested in learning how to do that, then keep on watching. So the first thing you want to do when doing your brows is to make sure that they are already nice and clean. If you fill in brows that are, you know, a little hairy, then it's not going to look as nice. So I used to always go get my eyebrows threaded back in California, but over here I haven't found a spot that gets them, um, th that does threading. So I'm kind of like, eh, then I guess I won't do it. I'm not really into waxing and I hate using tweezers for my brows, but I use them once in a while. But lately I've been using this eyebrow shaver thingy majiggy and you guys need to be very careful because you, you can really mess up your brows using this if you don't know what you're doing so be careful when using this and also realize that your eyebrows go really fast using this because it's basically like shaving your brows so um yeah but that's the first step make sure to have them nice and clean mine aren't perfect but they will do what I like to do is I like to apply concealer. So I'm using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer in the color 10 Ivory. I like to conceal slash highlight my brows. That's like the first thing I do before doing anything in my face. I do my brows like midway. <laughs> um, it's a continuing process. You'll see what I'm talking about. But this is the first thing I do. People like to do this after they fill in their brows, but I like to do it before and then sometimes after. I feel like when you do this first, you're really going to be able to see your eyebrow shape. And that's going to help you really fill in your brows even better. So I apply that concealer and then I use a brush like this one. This is a double-ended one. You don't need a double-ended one. You just need a concealer brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and tap that in. By tapping it in, it's really going to give me that full coverage while going like this is going to remove some of that product and not give me that full coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and just tap, tap, tap that in and then I will continue doing the rest of my makeup and I'll come back to show you guys, you know, how I fill in this stuff. But I wish I wouldn't have applied concealer here so I can show you the difference. But do you guys already see that how my eyebrows just look clean? And you can really see where it's supposed to be filled in and all that good stuff. That's going to help you a lot. So I always recommend to do this first. So I'm basically done with my makeup. If I have lipstick on my lip, I mean if I have lipstick on my, if I have lipstick on my teeth, then I'm sorry. But um, you guys can see how weird it looks right now because I don't have my eyebrows done. Eyebrows make a huge difference. They definitely frame the face. So... I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I fill in my brows now. So I always get asked like, what do you have on your brows? Because you have them so nice. Maybe to some people they might like my brows, some people may not like my brows, that's totally fine. But I'm gonna show you how I do it. So what I use is, I use an angled brush like this one. This is from Real Techniques. It comes in a little set that you can probably find at Walgreens, you can find it probably at Walmart, anywhere they really sell Real Techniques. It comes in, obviously, purple little packet. I think it comes with like four brushes or so. So look out for that. I really love this brush. And I wear the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. I used to have my hair kind of blondish. You guys look at my old videos. And I had bought this one a while back before I even dyed my hair. I was supposed to dye my hair. Well, I dyed my hair like a deep brown and it ended up looking black. Um, that's totally fine. I'm making this work and you'll see what I do. So this is what that looks like in case of you guys don't know about this Anastasia Beverly's pomade, but this is definitely something that really works for me, something I really, really enjoy. And I just haven't found another product that I love as much as I love this. I've done reviews on other uh, brow stuff that I like, but I always go back to this baby. So uh, what I blah, 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 never can speak, you guys should know that by now. So what I do is I grab some product from here and then I go on the back of my hand and then I do this to have an even application and I know that it's kind of like wasting product but you have a lot a lot like ugh. you have a lot of product in here and a little goes a long way so I zoomed in a bit I hope that this angle and all that works so using my brush and all of it ugh. Ah, I can never speak. Sorry, I scared Ren I scared Ronaldo. Um, my hair is already combed, so they're nice and neat. So I'm gonna get this, and the first thing I do is I outline my brow. 
So by doing that concealer trick in the beginning, I can really see the shape of my brow. So I can just easily outline my brows. Some people like to start from the end towards the front because obviously there's a lot of product in the brush, but I just do it this way. So I just follow my shape. And then I don't like to exaggerate at the end, but it still has a nice little tail. So I do the bottom, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the top. So outline first, and then fill. So outline, outline. So you guys see that right there? This is what I do, I outline it first. So that's what it looks like. It looks pretty funny, but look at that and that. And when I outline it, it kind of makes them look a little bit bigger than what they actually are. But that's what it is, it's just because I outlined them. So that's what it looks like at first, but now we're gonna go ahead and fill. I went ahead and I grabbed a little bit more product and now I'm going to fill starting from the back and then going to the front. So just small little strokes. One day this lady was like looking at my eyebrows. She's like, oh my god, your eyebrows are so nice. You don't have hairs, huh? I'm like, ah, yes I do. I got hairs. I got brows. <laughs> um, that was so funny. But um, yeah, I'm just going to fill that in. Fill it, fill it, fill it. If you need to grab more product, go ahead and do so. Just so that you know that if you grab more product, it's going to be more darker. So it depends what look you're going for. I also like the fact that Anastasia has a lot of variety for brows. So you have a good selection of colors. And I do want to say too that if you do have black hair, do not use black. Some people like to use like black um like eyeliner or so to fill in the brows never use black use a deep brown but never black so just doing the inner part of it really small strokes because the front you don't want it to be a little too much you want more of the darkness to be like towards the end do you see how it's a little bit faded it's a little bit lighter here and then it starts going a little bit darker so obviously, like I said, this is a little bit light for me, but I make it work. And then some people don't even like the boxy look. I don't mind it. I feel like this looks good on me, but some people don't like it to be boxy. It looks boxy, but I don't feel like it's too defined of a box in the front. You know what I mean? I hope so. So with the same brush, I'm going to go ahead and grab this really dark brown from my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit and then I'm just gonna apply it in the outer part of the eyebrow just to darken it up a little bit more since my hair is darker than the color that this is. Just a little bit more. But just towards the end, I'm, ne I'm not gonna bring this color to the front because I kind of want it to be kind of like an ombre in a way. So I'm just putting it in the ends and leaving the front a little bit lighter. Now for my favorite part is applying the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, this way. Um, this is in the color Brunette and I love this stuff. Ever since I started using it, I just, I feel like I cannot, I feel like my look is not complete without it. My eyebrows just look so much better with it. It just tames them. It just tames? Is it? Yeah, is that the word? Okay. It just holds them down. It makes them look good. It's just, this is the secret to making my eyebrows look even better. So, it looks like this. It literally looks like mascara, but it's just the brown mascara. It's tinted brown mascara for your brows. But, I'm just gonna sweep that like this. And I just feel like it holds them down. It just it just makes it all look like one. So that 
basically concludes my tutorial for my brows. Hope that answers some of the questions because I always get asked how I feel in my brows. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to like button and subscribe. Draw a beautiful comment. I already changed because I have to go to work right now. <laughs> no one likes to work, but I have to go to work. But um, yeah, just a little quick you know, review. What I used was the Real Techniques brush, angled brush for my brows. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. And I used the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. And obviously to maintain my brows, I used the eyebrow shaver majiggies. I forgot what they're called, but this is shapers maybe. I don't know, something like that. But this baby here. And then I used one of these to make sure to comb my brows and all that good stuff. And then optional, any... um you know, brow powder or even an eyeshadow that matches your um, color. But uh, yeah, make sure to remember to follow my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all that goody good stuff. Any requests, leave them down below. And I will see you guys next time. Your brows will not be identical. They're sisters. Sometimes they're cousins and it's okay.